How to use Goddard GD100 breakout bus to simulate Mercedes-Benz cables to read W204, W207 EIS data. For W204 and W207, if you lose all the keys, you have to remove the EIS from the car for data collecting and data communication. Now we use Goddard GD100 to communicate with this EIS instead. First of all, we need to understand the ports pin out of the W204, W207 EIS. What each port's definition and how many wires to be connected as shown in the wiring diagram. There are five wires to be connected and there are corresponding marks on it. The brown GND wire is connected to the first port on the left. The red one is a 12 volt well. It is connected to the fourth port. The K line is green and connected to the top. There are CANH and CANL wires. The black one is CANH and the white one is CANL. A total of five wires are inserted. If all the keys are lost, then there is no test platform. You plug in these five wires and see if we can communicate with our key 2 plus and the EIS. Enter the EIS, click on start and then automatic identification. It shows cannot connect to the EIS. Please check the connection because the GT100 power switch is not turned on. So turn it on now. Do the automatic identification again and it is OK. It is W204, W207 EIS. Choose OBD and the EIS data has not been read out. All right, when W204, W207, all keys lost and without the seat bands, Special wiring harness. Don't worry, using GD Goddard GD100 instead, plug in five wires by following the wiring diagram for data acquisition, the data processing.